I will allow the others to join. So as we have passed the full moon, which is the moon of the Guru Purnima, in, in Sanskrit, the mantra is, Asatoma Satkameya Tamasoma Joytir Gamiya Mityoma Amritam Gamiya. The space that lead us, whoever you call the space of the teacher, from that darkness to the light. Now darkness is refers not as darkness as a ghostly figure. Darkness is the space of the mind is totally entrapped in the ego. So where there's ego, there will be so much of suffering. When there is a me, there is suffering. So it's very rarely that we come into a place that where we can humbly learn um, and elevate ourselves. So today's practice is until you change your thoughts, patterns, the vicious cycle, you will always experience things that are even in the present through that past and a future. So you got five seconds in a day to change your habits. Um, when it comes up for you, whether it's anger, the frustration, whether it's your body part is not working. So don't always say that I will fix this part of the body. Just take it as, as it is, as the vibration of the present moment without giving the definition of the pain, without giving the definition of uh, how it has been a part of not an encouragement anymore for you. Because when it had that part as the encouragement to get up and over, whether it's your hips, whether it's your knees, whether it's your, you never had that space of gratitude for it. But now suddenly it doesn't, or it has a awakening experience for you, for you to work with yourself. You just put it as something that is no longer working in favor of you. Working in favor of you, what? Ask the question, because you could numb it and 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 run and 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 move into the same cycle, or this is opportunity to bring that awareness into that space until you change that cycle, until you try not to procrastinate into the future, it will repeat it again and again. It's not it's against you. It is this just you have stuck without not being able to elevate from it to elevate. You need a space for teaching of a teacher. Um, at this very time in the world, uh, gurus are getting into so much of trouble. But what I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about something that elevates your experience, something allows you to see something differently, something that awakens you into the present moment. Not something as a promised land, not something that you always wanted. But what you really need in life, for me, uh, uh, the liberation from my mind. For you, it might be something else to lead on to that space. So saying that, comfortably keep the emphasis on that area, that you're not going to go into the space of the loop to recreate and, and diminish the experience of the present moment but also be aware of that you're not doing something. You have awakened into your mind. So you see the patterns of it. Until you see the patterns of it, there is no need for us to change. That's what a guru means. And Guru Purnima is the fullest moon in this particular part, which is we pass that moon. We give our gratitudes to the spaces that has allowed us to see the teachings, the essence, the light of it. So saying that, take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, opening up the chest, elevate the space of the heart, and twist the spine to the left. On a breath out, very gently twist the spine to the right, on a breath out. 
and take a couple of switches and make stretch the shoulder shrug so that you are allowing that breath to come easily. Now take a deep breath in, shrug the shoulders up and breath out, shoulders roll back. Breathing in, shrug up, out. Breathing in, shrug up, breath out. Now breathing in, shrug the shoulders up and tilt the head back and massage the back of the skull. Very gently into a half moon. Open and close the mouth and breathe out, chin to the chest, collapse your spine into the space of the cat. Breathing in, shoulders roll back, push the belly into the front. Breath out, collapse the spine into the chest. Breathing in. Breath out, very gently allowing the practice with this movement to come into a subtle space of no fold. Just embrace in this moment. Now I will move the camera towards Danny. Now very gently take a deep breath in. Arms raise onto the crown. Interlacing the fingers, palms facing up. Now very gently pull the belly in. Sit gently. Stretch. Left wrist facing up. Left palm facing up. Holding to the right. Get that stretch. Elbow stretch. Switching towards the right side. Very gently switching towards the right side. Stomach very gently pulling in. And gently take a deep breath in and coming into the center. Right palm facing up, holding together. So it's mutually beneficial for the network. Open, open. Switching towards the left. Extend those elbows and allow the breath to become the main toe. Breathing in back into the center, spread the wings widely. Bardasana, right arm on the top. Very gently assist with the mudra, with the space of the third eye, having that positive outlook. Just becoming aware of the mind, sitting in the center of the hurricane. Seeing the patterns of this past, see the patterns of this future. Now spread the wings and twist the spine to the right. So I'm pull the in very gently, very gently. We gently allow that breath to become the influential segment that help we with the flow of the person. Breathing in, coming back into the center. Change the leg formation. Garudasana, left arm on the top. So gently supporting the space of the mudra, the gratitude that is a stone into the space of the third eye. And I love today's class to be of assistance, of offering, of a guidance, of a counsel. And most of you ask me, I don't know whether I'm working from the head or the heart. Ask today, when you take a decision from the heart, it is to expand yourself, serve the others. There is a growth. It makes you more of a soul connection. Not to proceed to that is comes from the mind, the individuality, the greed, the fear. I take a deep breath in with this space of the understanding and twisting the spine to the left side, complete the breath out. Now, allow the practice more of a quest to become 
the alignment. So that your encouragement to, to support your health, well being, the wealth, most of all, the richness that you're experiencing in this present moment. Breathing in, coming back into the center. Shoulders relax and just go open. Now holding on to the opposite elbows into the back, or you can take uh, the Namaskar Mudra of palms together, gently sliding under the, uh, the shoulder blades. But it's up to you, so don't trigger it too much. It's a gentle pose just to open up the network of the heart very gently becoming of the space of exploring, discovering, and taking this the essence of this present moment. And having that breath that you are alive today, you're seeing the loved ones, you're feeling the body. It's the core of the soul, having a gentle gratitude for everything, acknowledging the teacher, acknowledging the wisdom, acknowledging the gift that others have create within yourself. Leave that gratitude into a meaningful connection for you today, whether it's your body part but it's still tangled. Now take a deep breath in. Very gently stretch the arms into the front, interlacing the fingers. And gently stretch, stretch, stretch. Allow whatever the body part dominantly want to jump up, relax that part. It might be a correlation of overprotecting. Now very gently release the tension, shake it, shake it, shake the wrist, shake the fingers. Now very gently stretch the neck to the right. Keep that left shoulder blade, left shoulder. Very gently breathing in, into the spine, out, spreading that space, breathing in back into the center, stretch onto the other source, to the other side. Back into the center. I'll take a deep breath in. Tuck the shoulders up and tilt the head back and open the mouth widely and close, releasing the tension of the jaw. Chin to the chest. I'll take a deep breath in. And very gently getting that left leg back, opening up the right hip. Very gently coming into the space of that physical alignment, the breath alignment, consciousness coming and expressing the space of gratitude. As soon as we have that space of gratitude, there is so much wealth in there, the hopefulness. And we become less and less self-absorbed into the space of the ego, into the suffering. Now take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back. Without drop the elbows, walk the palms into the front, palms facing up. 
But take this moment with the breath, with the body, with this mind that you're using as tools to express gratitude. I'm feeling the gift of your consciousness so that they are not being abused. They are no longer playing a story. So very gently come into the place, when I have money, I will do the changes. When I have a moment. In that way, you're contributing everything into the front. And you're living in the space of the front. Breathe very gently. Now take a deep breath in and very gently coming back into the present moment. Shoulders relaxed, it's open. Expressing that gratefulness. Giving thanks for the many blessings, no matter whether it's a small, whether it's a large. It might be just simply breath is there. Because tomorrow we never know this whether this breath will come. Very gently coming into a plan. So very gently let the practice be the ramification in your life. And also the ecosystem that the life around you if you, the life around you is deteriorating, that means your root system to serve is no longer there. There is no development and growth. I refer the root system is to the inner growth. Now very gently lift me onto the floor. Right arm reaching into the front, right arm reaching up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Right arm reaching into the back and touch the floor. Now take a deep breath in, left arm stretching, hold the hips stronger and stabilize hips. Can't you do it for that hips? Up to the side. Into the back, touch the floor. Now very gently drop the knees, completely breathe out to the space of the cat. Expressing this gratitude towards this spine. For many blessings that this spine has allowed you to stand up, move, drop the belly, breathing in into a cow. Breathe out into the space of the cat. Anus lock, navel lock, throats lightly locked. Breathing in. Tongue roll up onto the upper palate and you gaze onto the third eye. Breathe out. Anus lock, navel lock, throat. Breathing in. Neutral spine. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling. Under the right arm, drop that shoulder blade. Shoulders that have been carrying a lot. And allow this experience of gratitude, the energy, the confidence of your practice. Allow your speech, allow your breath, allow your thoughts to bring that positivity to amplify it into the space of the shoulders, into the space of the arms that you call arms, fingers. By expressing this, this will decrease that space of the disease, the apprehensions, the pressure, the stress, exhaustion, 
So now you know what boosts your well-being and what is opposite to that. Breathing in very gently, coming back, shoulders to relax and just to open. Breathing in, drop the belly, look up, tongue roll up onto the upper palate. Breathe out, anus lock, and we go. Breathing into a space of neutrality. Give a good rotation to those hips, the body. Express the gratitude. Not seeing something that half empty and watch how it changes the energy around that organ, body part or your current state of your mind is suffering, sabotaging you the present moment. Now to the opposite direction. Push the hips into the front. Gently taking a deep breath in, breath out. Very gently sitting into the heels. Into a space of a child pose. Arms um, stretch into the back if you want to. Into the child pose. And at this very moment, allow that practice to take that pose of deep healing taking place in that present moment. Allow the breath brings that blue shades related to calm, highlighting something that is guiding you into that significance. So every breath in and out is you're expressing the gratitude freely and frequently. And a reminder, at that very moment, you're breaking from the old patterns, giving excuses not to do things. At this very moment, you can see the change, what is happening is unconditionally, you have accepted the space of yourself. And that is a space of physicality. When people are looking at a mirror and say, wants the mirror to change, or the person that they are looking to change is what everybody is doing. They want the world to change. They want the other person to change. They want the reflection of themselves to change. To feel secure. Now very gently, I'm stretching to the front, crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Drop the belly, soften the hips, breathing into the gentle bhujangasana. You're coming into a cobra, but you have let down your guard. What do you mean by the guard? You're not reacting to the emotions. You feel emotionally you're in a more sacred ground. But you can be your truth. Being truth is not just always being positive. That gives up sort of a shorter security and a comfort and a numbing. So this is a bit more deep understanding the importance of that your mind has a space of emotional security because your consciousness has elevated. Your mind is not running on opposite to the emotional security.
Now the consistency is the practice, constantly being awakened to this. Overlooking onto the left side. Overlooking to the right side. Breathe out towards the down face. Very gently bending one knee at a time, releasing the tension. Get those fingers spread, get those toes spread. Take a deep breath in, left leg up into the back, stretch the knee. Left knee onto the left chest, breathe out. Be flexible, breathing in, left leg stretch back. Left knee to the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, stretch properly. Left knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Stretch back, left foot into the front. Now arms stretch into the back, interlacing the fingers. Stretch and release the shoulder blades a little bit more from the back, stretching up to the ceiling. Arms raise onto the cow. Now interlace in the fingers, palms facing up. Six deep cycles of breath. Now bring the intent of the practice again. Consistent about what you create for you as your safety. For me, the, the awakening state. For you, it might be something different. Touch the floor. Drop the back knee onto the floor. Lunge forward and backward to release the tension of the hips. That the practice itself is guiding the body into the space of just stay there, just notice. It's not removing the responsibility of this space. This is also allowing you to be having that willingness to do your own work and become emotionally strong. Not that not doing your work, but want to be strong, but the change has to be the other. This is the time you have to notice this. Change in the mirror is what you want, but not within. In this very moment, uh, uh, inquiry into this, your mind will come with thoughts, problems that are arising. But instead of your own reaction, look at it. Look at it and what causing it. Accept your role in this space. Become aware of your needs and what you need to work on so that you are growing into that space of liberation or growth of security. Take a deep breath in, palms onto the floor. Into a plank. Lower plank, breathing in up face. Breathing up, down face. Now very gently bringing the left foot into the space of the pigeon in the front. Take this moment. That we are coming into a space 
very gently into the recovering space of the spring. So your roots have been resting in the dark. Even your branches have been pruned. It's indicating the season is spring. Winter to spring. Releasing and letting go that all behaviors, baggages, hiding and nestling. It might be your mind is still thinking that it is safe and secure. Now very gently take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, drop the elbows, hold those palms. Palms facing up. Now, not just the communication is essential into everything, but not with your past thoughts. If you're communicating with your past thoughts, be aware of that relationship in the present moment is not healthy because your past has robbed your present. Be aware of it. So once you waken up into the present moment, you no longer allow other than the consciousness to flourish. Breathing in very gently, coming back. Shoulders relax, chest up. Into a plank. Right knee onto the floor. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling, clinch and unclench. Allow the body to be flexible. Allow the breath to be flexible. But authentically, this body is taking the shapes and the changes of the moment. Where it is allowing you to express yourself openly, even through the asana, even through the pranayama, even through the dharana, even through the dhyana without a fear of the reproach, without likes or dislikes. And it's reaching into the back. Keep that body open. Right arm reaching up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Right reaching into the back and touch the floor. Not drop the knee, completely breathe out to the cat. Breathing in, drop the belly, opening up the chest. Breathe out to the cat. Breathing into the cow. Neutral spine, right arm reaching up to the ceiling under the left. Um, just honoring the space of your consciousness, the liberation. We don't know what is the future. But here and now, you're conscious with your relationship, with your breath, with your body. 
And if you're in that present awakening, whatever happens, you will make through it. Breathing in very gently, coming back, shoulders relaxed, chest open, do a good rotation to the hips, to the guts, where all the spleen, pancreas, liver, kidneys, if that's a, a moment of fresh acknowledgement. Fresh experience onto the other side. Gently take a deep breath in, push the hips into the front, breath out very gently, releasing the tension, sitting down to the heels, breathing in, becoming consciousness, becoming more alert. Now that heart space is more of to expand, a growth, a security. And it's transiting this space. Eliminating those thoughts are just some of the time wasters that you have lost your energy by talking about it. Now you're conscious about disengaging with that in the present moment. Your indulgence is not just only food. It can be watching endless amount of social media. TV. It's there for you, but it can be toxic as alcohol and any other drug. Because while you're entertaining this, you're also losing something that supports your ability to stick with that present moment. Yes, by all means, seek out for new information if it is expanding your growth. Something that you have not seen, not heard. You have to get out of the murky or the dark condition and pinpoint what is being sold, what is being learned, what is being supported. Otherwise, the same place is promising your growth can be also a trap. So remind you to be vigilant. Palms facing down. Rolling and bringing the chest onto the floor, breathing in into up face, breathe out towards the down face. Very gently. Right leg up into the back. Right knee to the right, just breathe out. Search the body, map the body well. Right leg stretch back. Right knee to the right elbow, stretch back. Right knee to the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. 
right foot into the front, arm switch into the back, interlacing the fingers, stretch those elbows, keep the back of the head aligned and lift up, not totally aligning with the spine, elbows and the wrist. Breathing in arm place onto the crown. Six deep cycles of breath. Allow that breath to bring you from the past to the present, from future to the present. That is your strength, being in the present moment. A lot of people try to give the ability of numbing this present moment because the present is something that has to have a knack. This is the only way you can bring the mind to challenge from the past and the future. It challenges the losses from the past and the future. Because your experience of life continually creating memories. Your current view of life is through those memories. Recalling the past event. Very gently drop the back knee and holding on to the front knee and very gently moving to the front and into the back. Release and tension. The present moment is the opportunity to recreate and expand and grow. Now very gently touch the flow into plank, into a lower plank, and very gently drop to the flow. Now take a deep breath in, shoulders relax and just open. Now very gently left leg up into the back. Very gently stretch out. Bring that left knee onto the left side. And very gently lying down on the side and rolling and opening up. Very gently breathing into that space that you're comfortably creating. So it's coming into the space of, of course, you're grateful for the memories of the past that has shaped your life. When you're aware of that is past, then it has done its work. This is the time that very gently releasing the past, releasing the future, and not getting overwhelming by this present moment. That you might feel that you're juggling with activities, but they're actually not real activities. They are juggling a lot of memory. So when the memory of that present moment does not come as a memory, but adding that memory into the present moment and looking through that, can you feel or you will feel things are overwhelming, unmanageable? So this is the moment that not stressing any furthermore. And that effortless effort that you are waking up is that instant result that the present moment can do. Now take a deep breath in, very gently that you have allowed that openness on a psychosomatic way into the practice. Now very gently 
then go to the other side. Whatever the person, whether it's the relationship, whether it's the relationship with their, with the wealth, with the finance, with the world, this present moment is never a wrong moment. It is paving the way for the new opportunities, not the way you want, but the way it is needed so that you get the lessons of the, the present condition. And when the opportunity arrives, it's also a present condition. But your mind is in a space of clarity to respect that new change. Nothing because of anything, because your finance got better and your health got better, but the better understanding of the bigger picture. Whatever you are in right now, understand the bigger picture. Not this small area of irritation. An outcome of this is much more lasting gains. So if your energy is to your words with negative, then your effort is, as much as you don't want it, it's making it happen. Okay. Now, very gently coming back into the center, arm stretch into the front, interlacing the fingers, get the stretch together, take a deep breath and lift up the arms and the legs just without crushing the space of the spine, no effect on the spine, and very gently relax onto the floor. And let the gravity take on this body, change the head onto a side that it is. And let that colors and the energies erupt and wandering into the space of healing, elimination. This is a, a part of beginning of an end. Notice those energies, stubbers with energies and colors I'm related to something energetically wholesomeness and reliability. And allowing that present moment, the new beginning possibilities coming into your awareness first. Coming into your awareness. Now very gently change the side of the head, releasing any tension. Now very gently onto the knees. And rotate the hips wider. Very gently allow that space of the breath, space of the practice be instrumental onto the other side. And if you have healed and if you have achieved all these things that you want to achieve, what kind of a feeling that you have? Stretch the spine into the back. And I want you to become that feeling in this present moment. Okay. 
what would be the body is totally in balance. The space of that your truth that you held in your heart. Now let this practice be the fortitude to navigate your path. Now wake up the spine one word of at a time. Shoulders relax. Now we're gently coming into a space of seat. Very gently come to a space of seating. Allow your spine to be straightened. Allow your gaze to have a smile. Otherwise, when you enter into the practice, you may have frustration. Now observe the thoughts in the space of flowing. Not the way you hoped or expected. The present. What is present is teaching you your ability to be during your commute in this journey of the earth. If your body is facing a difficulty, It might be the challenge to be more conscious, not just a default or a frustration or despair. Observing the breath will become more consciousness. Doesn't mean shut into every other thing be present. Now you could see the memory of the past and the future is the one that can become depressed. That can be lapsed into a negativity. The present moment is giving you the great grace of being patient. Help you to become more conscious, more mindful, more connected. Because of this ability, you could see there is more abundance in you. you have more gratitude. Now, this is a good time for your own peace. Be patient with people who challenge or trigger you. Because holding those people in your past and future as challenge may rob the ability to remain calm in the present moment.
Now, what is happening is you remain patient as your story continues to unfold. Because the mind is a mechanism and it is nothing other than repeat telecast. And when we hold things, we cannot hold as much as we hold things in the mind. Some people hold things not on the memory, they hold things in item, accumulation. Because they find comfort to be in that specific memory with the item. This is a great time that we are coming into the spring. You may have piles of memories running. Time for the energy to be invested in the present. So practice is nothing other than simplifying and decluttering your ecosystem. Everything stores energy, having an excess and cause you to feel stressed out. Removing or no longer supporting those patterns, clear out the old energy or bring that energy into the present. When it comes to the present, you will find your anxiety has left you. Simply life meeting you at this very moment. Life is meeting you. Now that you once you meet the life, there is a contentment. Why can't it? you have more energy, not through items and memories, because your consciously has come into a more peaceful, because you are no longer bringing the clutter. Now you have openness to new interest, relationship. Not looking at the old wounds as old wounds. Now you can see that energy is now quite a lot in the present in your life without all that distraction. You're meeting life in this present moment in playfulness. Now very gently, arms raise onto the crown by letting the past go, trusting your present is your provider. So the future is as much as is present will also come as a present moment. Palms onto the namaskar position on this inner knowing and the intuition that you have come into this space or the month of the Purnima. This is a time for releasing things that no longer serve you. It has given you a light 
and a distinction to release things that you were not aware of. And it is time for you to release. Touch the earth. Very gently take in the affirmation that you're simply awake and want to simplify your life with appreciation and joy. Just gently coming out of the posture from some to the Namaskar position. Namaste. Namaste. Good to see you, Rebecca. <laughs> and the text and the sun. Where is the sun today? Maybe he's lying down. Okay, so. And I will see their faces too. So um, these classes are actually going through um, using your consciousness uh, when everyone is trying to sell you all the other things. You could see that I'm not selling you anything. I'm just bringing uh, uh, the family. Very good to see you all three. <laughs> Now that there's nothing to sell, it's just embracing the uniqueness of why and you're the missing link in this present moment to the world. So when I say that, when you see a mirror and you want the mirror to change without doing your inner work, you want the branches of the tree to change but not working on the root system. So it is all the things that we have been conditioned we have to come into that understanding that we are going to work deep within ourselves. Not that it needs work, but it can be a loop of the mind has gone on to an autopilot and running your life. Basically like a parasite, sucking all the present moment and keeping you totally present in a past and a future. And when you come into this awakening of the present moment, there is a growth, there's expansion. And the other day, the student asked, how do I know whether I'm coming from the mind or the heart? Heart is all about expansion. Heart is never about you. Heart is always about the growth. I don't know why I'm entering into this relationship, but I know it will show me who I am. Of course, there are triggering moments. So that's where when you come, from the space of the heart. Because the mind is always like a profit and loss account. The banks work with the mind because it's all about profits. The corporations will work on. Um, I bet this class won't stream today because it might stop when we talk about corporations and the governments and things. But I'm just using it as an example for you to understand furthermore where things are in the mind. So your times, are great. So don't wait the world to go back what it was. It is also like any other collectively, it is evolving. And we need to match with the frequency. Otherwise, we are going to lose a lot of opportunities. At this very moment, there are opportunities. There are great level of service happening. There is a great level of healing happening. The collective vibration is coming into that. And there's so much things that people are sh start sharing that they know that we no longer have to be scared of the devil that we be taught to. So engage on those moments. Take a moment to ground yourself, the feet. It's very important. When the elements be freshened in your house, the water, the, the energy of the light, like a lamp to remind you about the importance of the consciousness. Uh, recreate. And the spring is coming. So set a uh, match with the frequency of the environment that is now happening in the nature. And it's time to declutter things. If you can even go through a little bit of books and shelves and things like that as no longer used or you have no longer have addressed that part, make a little change. 
Don't give excuse, start decluttering things. And you are allowing things to come in. It's not you're getting rid of, you're creating space for something else to come, but not from the past. So saying that, love you all. Just drop a comment if you can on the channel because Nicolina says um, we don't associate with the channel so that it doesn't being, get shared by other people. Um, that's great. I'm not a great person to create these kind of suggestions, but I'm just advising what I've been advised with. I'm only connected to the consciousness, but the others are needed for people to share. So my love to you all, Sylvia, Marie, uh, Rebecca, Daz, and your beautiful son. Love you all. Big hugs. Take good care and enjoy. Uh, winter is also a comforting month. Just to be warm and rugged. It's like a hug from the universe. So enjoy it. Namaste.